diseases and their prevention. Health is wealth. Even the Upanishads and Vedas believe and preach that a healthy mind dwells only in a healthy body. A person who is healthy will always be cheerful and live long. In today's world, very few people are blessed with good health. A healthy lifestyle along with a nutritious and balanced diet is always beneficial. Diseases A disease is an abnormal condition in which the body is not able to function properly. Neither the body nor the mind of the patient is at ease. Causes of diseases Causes Deficiency of nutrients Hereditary factors Unhealthy lifestyle Entry of pathogens Deficiency of nutrients A person should take the right kind of food in adequate quantities to remain healthy. Deficiency of any of the nutrients can be harmful. The table below shows some of the diseases caused by deficiency of nutrients. Nutrients Deficiency diseases Vitamin A Night blindness Vitamin B Beriberi Vitamin C Scurvy Vitamin D Rickets Iodine Goiter Iron Anemia Proteins Quashiorker Hereditary factors Hereditary diseases are passed on from one generation to the next. For example, diabetes, thyroid, hemophilia, etc. Unhealthy lifestyle Eating excess of junk food and leading a sedentary lifestyle may lead to obesity, diabetes, arthritis, heart diseases, etc. People who smoke are prone to cancer and heart diseases. Entry of pathogens Pathogens are disease-causing germs. They are so small that they can only be seen under a microscope. Hence, they are also called microbes. There are mainly four kinds of pathogens which cause diseases. They are given below. Bacteria diseases like tuberculosis, plague, cholera and typhoid are caused by bacteria. Virus diseases like polio, chickenpox, common cold, measles, etc. are caused by virus. Protozoa, malaria, amoebic, dysentery, etc. are caused by protozoa. Fungus, ringworm, athlete's food, etc. are some fungal diseases. Communicable and Non-communicable diseases Diseases which can be transmitted or passed from one person to another are called communicable diseases. For example, common cold, chicken pox, etc. They are also known as contagious or infectious diseases. Communicable diseases are spread by pathogens. They are found everywhere. They multiply whenever they find warmth, food and air. When these pathogens enter a healthy human body, they grow in number and cause infection. Diseases which cannot be transmitted, that is, those which cannot pass from one person to another are called non-communicable diseases. For example, asthma, diabetes, etc. Pathogens are transmitted through direct contact Insects, infected food or water, carriers and air through direct contact. Diseases which can be transmitted or passed by coming in direct contact with an infected person or any items such as clothes, utensils, etc. that he has used. Some diseases such as measles, ringworm, chickenpox, Conjunctivities and other skin diseases are spread through direct contact. Through air. Diseases like cough, cold, 
influenza, diphtheria, tuberculosis, pneumonia, etc. spread through the saliva of the patient. A sick person passes these germs in the air while speaking, laughing, sneezing, spitting or coughing. Through infected food or water, diseases like typhoid, cholera, diarrhea, polio, jaundice, etc. are caused by eating infected food or drinking polluted water. Flies and cockroaches carry germs from garbage and sewers and contaminate food and water. Through insects or pests, malaria, dengue, plague, Kala Azar and yellow fever are caused by insects like mosquitoes, bugs and fleas. Through carriers, some healthy persons carry germs of diseases like typhoid, cholera, dysentery and smallpox. They themselves do not suffer from these diseases but pass them to other people. The germs of such diseases are spread through mosquito bite. Therefore, these persons are called carriers. Malaria Malaria is spread by the bite of a female Anopheles mosquito which carries the protozoa Plasmodium. When this parasite enters the human body through bite of an infected mosquito, it causes infection leading to the loss of red blood cells. Symptoms are fever, flu, chills, headache, muscle ache, tiredness, nausea, vomit and diarrhea. Children below the age of 5 years are more prone to risk. Precautions Spraying insecticides or disinfectant Using mosquito nets, insect repellents in the rooms, mosquito control measures like drainage of stagnant water which can become a breeding ground for mosquitoes. Dengue. Dengue is caused by a virus. It is common during rainy season. Symptoms are high fever, headache, joint and muscle pain, vomiting and rashes. Patients take several weeks to recover. Precautions. Use insect repellent. Wear clothes that cover your arms, legs and feet. Keep shut unscreened doors and windows. Maintain a clean environment. Water tanks and containers should be kept covered. Use mosquito nets. Spread of communicable diseases can be prevented by following some simple measures. Maintain personal hygiene. Keep your surroundings clean. Use a disinfectant to clean the floor of the house. Rooms should be well ventilated allowing plenty of sunlight to enter. Sunlight is a natural disinfectant that helps to destroy germs. Food, water and milk should always be kept covered in clean containers and stored well. Children suffering from any communicable disease should stay away from school till they have recovered fully. Mosquito repellents or mosquito nets should be used. Always cover your mouth with clean handkerchief while coughing or sneezing. Vaccination Vaccination is a way of protecting ourselves from some diseases like polio, diphtheria, tetanus, cholera, typhoid, measles, mumps, hepatitis, etc. Vaccination gives us immunity against these diseases.